All right, friends, today we're going to be creating poinsettias, and we're gonna be using a technique called stamping or printing, in which you have an object that has some kind of ink or paint. Uh, in our case, it would be paint. And you press the object into the paint and apply it to your paper or your surface. And in return, it causes whatever that object shape is to be printed onto your paper. And that style of art is called printmaking. So today we're gonna to be using some objects like Q-tips and some stamps to print our poinsettias. Now, my poinsettias um, are gonna be quite big and I need to make the inner part of them. So using a Q-tip and some yellow paint, you're gonna start making clusters. Cluster is a section or an area um, of a certain color or object. So we're gonna make clusters of dots and you need to go into your paint for each dot because if not, you won't have enough paint. You might be able to do two, but that might be the most. So that's one cluster. I think I'm gonna make four clusters of pieces for my poinsettias. And it should look kind of rounded. I'll make one right here. And you need to spread them out. Don't put all your clus clusters close to each other because then you won't be able to print the petals around them. And I think I'm gonna do one over here. So four clusters. Maybe you can only get three, that's okay. I'm gonna do four. All right, then you're gonna just leave your Q-tip in there and we're gonna transition over to printing the petals. You're gonna have a sponge that looks like this. The green part is the area that you hold and the yellow part is the area you're gonna press into your paint. Now this is very messy, you're gonna have to go slow and it doesn't matter which color you get. Um, as long as you go into your paint, carefully pick up. If you slam it in there, the paint's gonna splatter. Next, you're gonna go over to one of your clusters and carefully press your sponge into it and gently pull it up. And you're left with the shape of that petal. Carefully pick it up, press. You can even pick a different color. Press. And then you're left with this color here. Sometimes you can get two prints out of one dab or maybe three prints. So you can move it over, press down, print it again. Look at that, beautiful. I even have magenta, which is kind of like a purplish color. Oops, I didn't press down all the way. There we go. And I think I'm gonna do one more right here. Press down, perfect. And you're gonna keep doing that to all of your poinsettias. Press it into the ink, into the paint, and push it on. Some of your petals may overlap, but that's okay if they're touching, if they're hanging off. You're gonna print all the way around your yellow dots, going back and forth into your paint to create petals that are radiating around your center. Flowers have radial symmetry, which means that they, um, the flowers, the petals come from the center. Next, we are gonna add our flower petals. You will find the tray with the yellow and the green and you'll use a different sponge. You may need to share this sponge because there's only a couple. And just randomly in different areas, you can apply the green, maybe areas that have the blue still showing through in your background. That would be perfect. 
And when you're done with the sponge, you'll put it back and you'll carry your artwork to the drying rack. Don't forget to write your name somewhere on the bottom corner.